Functionize 5.1 overhauls the UI in the most used areas of the platform and drastically improves the experience for editing actions. This includes significant changes to the test detail page, the slider view, and architect. The new test detail page is better organized for easier navigation. The actions tab shows you the tests, instructions, and actions independent of any execution result. The browser tabs also include the results from the latest run on each browser. Make changes to your tests from any of these tabs, and these changes will apply for all browsers the next time your test runs. If you want to make changes to an action, instead of using the old action log or attribute editor, click on the step to expand the action settings. From here, you can edit, delete, or clone the step. Let's say you want to modify your verification text. Just click to expand the action, modify, and click save. The next time the test runs, the new verification text will be used. To add new actions from the test detail page, you can use one of two options. First, for simple actions that interact with the existing page, insert the action using the plus icon in between your steps. Previously, you were limited to just four actions. Now, there's 14 actions at your fingertips. Or, if you want to add actions with new elements or new pages, click Local Edit. This was previously known as Live Edit and will launch Architect on your application so you can record the new actions. Functionize allows you to customize tests with code in multiple ways, all from the new Action Settings area. Instead of using the old plus icon to add an extension, just expand the action to add your extension. We've also added syntax highlighting for a more intuitive scripting experience for outcome overrides, selector overrides, and pre and post scripts. Instead of clicking into a separate TDM tab, you can add TDM from the Actions tab or any Browser Results tab. To add the test data to your test, expand your action and use the new Action Settings area. Just click Add Test Data to map your data source. The History tab shows you the full execution history across all browsers. Filter the results by browser, status, or time, and you can even download the execution history report. The new slider view page is redesigned for consistency and speed. You can now zoom in and out and expand to full screen mode. Compare the screen at different points in time, between the previous successful run, the current or latest run, and when the test was first recorded in Architect. For a more granular comparison, observe your screen from before, during, and after each action. The footer at the bottom shows you the results data, and the most significant change is the new action settings of each step. Click on the gear icon of each action to edit, delete, or clone the step. For example, you can change the verification text. You can also add customizations to each action with code, whether you want to add extensions, overrides, or pre and post scripts. You can even add test data to use TDM. To add new steps, you can use one of two options. First, click on the plus icon after your action. From here, you'll see over 20 different action types, including element-based action types, such as double-click, hover, and input. Just click into the smart screenshot to quick add the action and interact with that particular element. Or if you want to add actions for new pages, click local edit to launch architect on your application and record new steps. The new UI for Architect has a redesigned left panel. Icons make it easier to distinguish actions, whether you want to input data, add verifications, access functionized tools, or even advanced actions. And we remove the advanced toggle so that everything is accessible from one view. For example, to add a scroll action, click on the plus button instead. Functionize 5.1 allows you to make more changes while you're recording your test. To find the advanced options for an existing step, click on the white circle next to your action. For example, let's say you want to change the verification text. Now click into the existing step, change the value and click save. You can make changes quickly without having to delete and re-record your step.
Empower your teams and future-proof your tests. Functionize helps you test faster. Learn more at Functionize.com.